Okay, so here we are. It's been uh, a month since we've last checked in on our pile. Um, now, I should preface this by saying, you know, within that month, you maybe would have come by, walked by your pile and seen that maybe it just needed a little extra moisture or you got curious and put the pitchfork in. But for our purposes here, in the sense you didn't turn it, it just sort of sat. And so we're at the three month mark, which um, is a very interesting place to be. If you were to follow the schedule that is outlined in this uh, video and in the written material, this is where you would find yourself, is at a really nice uh, juncture where your compost has been decomposing, moving along, and um, in about four months time, you could possibly use your compost. Today we'll talk about uh, how to measure the maturity of your compost and everything. But um, the point being is that if you are to follow a very measured, very um, nice schedule, then you can end up with compost within four to five months. Um, so the last thing we'll do uh, before we actually move this compost one last time is we're gonna do what we've always been doing. We're gonna check the temperature and so right now I can see that the core temperature is uh, just outside 90 degrees, which in our June day, which is just past the um, summer solstice, um, it's a pretty much ambient temperatures at this point. So that means that the pile itself isn't generating any um, heat itself. It's in this other sort of mesophilic phase. And let's look at what's going on inside the pile, just because we're curious, right? So let's take a nice chunk out and give a look. And we'll see that it has nice moisture. But even as I'm touching it, I can feel that it doesn't have the heat at all that it did have when um, we were in the more active composting phase. And you can see that it's starting to break down, but as we'll dive into sort of much in detail in this discussion about how to measure maturity and how to measure when your compost is ready, what you can see here is you can still kind of make out what your starting materials were. They're starting to really break down and create a really wonderful humus material, but this is nowhere uh, ready for you to use on the farm. Instead, what we're gonna do is move this to the pile that's behind me here. This is um, what we would call the curing pile. This is where we'll put all of the compost that we're wanting to sort of age and cure. It's no dissimilar than aging wine or cheese. You, uh, when you're making fermented products, there's a, a phase where you just sort of let it do its own nice gentle thing. And so whether your curing pile is of this size or um, you know, much larger, you can have a curing pile as large as you want because that's really where you're storing it and waiting for it to get to these marks where you know that it's mature and to use on the farm or, or to sell. Um, one last thing that I want to mention is one of the reasons why we're moving this to a curing area is this is just within the limits of really having enough mass to cure appropriately. So this is why we're combining it with something that's larger because as we move into the hot summer months <clears throat> and uh, more sort of drying weather, it'll be very hard for this sort of body, this mass of material to hold on to itself. So it's best to just join it with something else. Hey, hey.